you for joining me. Today, I'm getting ready for camping. We've decided to take everybody camping and I thought I'd share what it takes to get a large family with multiple special needs ready for camping. So first off, I've been collecting things and putting it on the table, just trying to get organized. So today, let's take a walk down the table and just get an idea of what we've got here. So I don't know if you can see how much stuff there is. So. Our table is actually 16 feet long, so this will give you a clue as to how much stuff's actually here. First up, we've got medicines. We've got our asthma medicine, we've got our seizure medicine, we've got our supplements. This box is actually a toolbox that we've converted into a medicine chest for us. So we have all the kids' daily medicine in there, and then we have things like gravel and Tylenol and anything that we might need. And we use this so that we can just grab this and we have everything there and we're ready to go. So the only thing that's not in here is the liquid medicine because it just doesn't fit. And then we've got our toileting stuff. So we've got diapers and pull-ups and wipes and everything needed here. Cream, everything between on top and in this tub as everybody has a different size of course. And then we've got some of our kitchen stuff and a little bit of our food I've been gathering from the cupboards and I'll show you more of that as we go. In this tub here I've got socks and underwear for those who need it um, so that it's all in one tub it's just the socks. The kids clothing I've div We've got them in these Rubbermaid containers. So these containers fit under the master bed in the trailer. And we've divided the tub into two. So one half has Lorelei's stuff and the other half has Savannah's stuff. And all the clothes stay in the tub. And then when we come back from camping, I will wash all the laundry from the trailer and I will put it right back into the trailer so the trailer's ready to go all summer long. So we've got Jacob and Dean and Luke and Darren and Cheyenne's got her own tub just because she's a little bit larger and she can manage looking after her clothes on her own but the other six they need a lot of assistance. I've got a separate tub for pajamas for the six that need help so then I don't have to go digging through the bigger tubs looking for pajamas. I've got them all ready. And then we've got a tub full of wetsuits. So we use the wetsuits when we're on the beach. It really helps with the sensory issues. The snugness of the wetsuit and the thickness of it really seems to help when the kids are having sensory issues against the wind and what have you. Next up is our towels. We've got a collection of towels. We've got a tub of games and activities to keep people busy. We've got some more linen that has to go out. And then we've got this idea for our toilet. So each one has their own unique bag. And then I have their toiletries in it. So we've got a toothbrush and toothpaste, deodorant, hairbrush, hair ties. When we go to the washrooms when we're at the campsite, they can each carry their own little bag and everything's in there. And Hopefully this will make it easier for us. This is the first year that we've done it this way before I've had them all, but we're trying to instill some independence. So we're gonna try this method this year. So you can see that I've gathered a lot of the things. So next up, I'm going to take it all out to the trailer and start loading up. Sean has done me a huge favor and taken all the kids out so that it's just me and I'm just gonna get it all done on my own. So welcome to the trailer. So this is the master room and as you can see the bed lifts up and we have all this storage underneath. So this is where we're putting the tubs. So there's one of the boys tubs and we'll get the rest of the tubs in here. Smaller tubs with the pajamas and the wetsuits they can fit nicely at the back. And then we can fit three of the clothing tubs in here which equals six of the kids clothes. There you can see the kids clothes are nicely stowed underneath the bed. So all the clothes are stored nicely underneath. This cabinet here is Sean's 
where Sean keeps his clothes. And this one over here, I keep my clothes and we each have a drawer for our personal things. Up here in the mirrored cupboards, we have different craft supplies and things that we would be bringing out for the kids' activities to do. So let's get this bed made. There we go, our bed's ready. Now we gotta get the rest of the stuff out here. So this is the opposite end and right now we're using this as storage for while we travel. So on the bottom bunk, which is a double bed, we have our tables and our benches and chairs. And this cupboard here, we use it as our linen Traveling cupboard. with so many people, you need a lot of linen when you're thinking about towels and extra bedding in case somebody has an accident. There. Here's a view for you. That's the single bed and a double bed at the bottom and our bathroom and we've got our sink over here. We've got more storage under the sink for our toiletries and toilet paper and stuff. So as you can see storage is at a minimum here. So we're trying to make the best use of the space that we can for the number of people that we have staying in here. So we have nine or ten people sleeping in this 20. 28 foot trailer and this trailer doesn't have any slides so we don't have extra space that way so When we're camping we dry camp so we don't have electricity or water We do use the toilet, but we don't use the shower part so that we aren't filling up our gray water We use the bathroom to store our dirty laundry So we got one of these pop-up laundry bags and then we have a bunch of these mesh bags put it over the edges of the pop-up one so it holds it open and the kids are able to put their laundry in there and then when this bag's full then I just pull out another mesh bag and the benefit of this is we can close this curtain so it's not as unsightly and we still have the toilet that we can use and our sink is just outside the bathroom I bet this is something you wanted to know how do we manage all the diapers with six kids in diapers that's a lot of diapers. Because we have so many using diapers, especially at night time, we have a tub set up with all the diapering supplies and plastic bags just to keep down the odor. So this tub is left at easy access and then the extras are stored under this back bed. Underneath here we have a storage area so that's where we keep our excess diapers. And now we're getting down to the important stuff. We're gonna put away our groceries. So this cupboard right here, we store all our dishes and cups and stuff. And then these three cupboards and those two cupboards are reserved for the food. And then we also have a fridge and a freezer here. And then the rest of the stuff that doesn't fit there, we either have in Rubbermaid tubs that we'll store in the back of our vehicle or in the cooler. So we're almost ready. So I have to do some grocery shopping and then that fresh produce will be brought right directly into the trailer and the cooler. And we're pretty much ready to go. After this camping trip, we will wash the linen and wash the laundry and everything will get brought right back here so that the next camping trip won't be so much work. So this process, actually took about five days to get everything done. Putting everything in the trailer was one day, but getting everything gathered and getting the kids clothes and everything sorted out, it was about five days. So next time it won't take so long because everything's been done once for the season. So hopefully you found these tips helpful. Um, please give this video a big thumbs up if you did. And we look forward to you coming camping with us. It's gonna be a lot of fun.